The Big Lockdown is easy to learn and fun to play, and it's funding over on Kickstarter now. In other videos, we've talked about how you play, the core mechanics of the game, and how you can mess with other players. Today, I want to talk about defense, the cards all geared around how you defend yourself, and more importantly, when to defend yourself in the game, which is a core part of the strategy. So let's start with possibly the simplest, most straightforward defensive card, and that's the nice try card. Simply put, someone tries to mess with you, use an effect card against you, they try to loot a supply, you just simply say, nice try. They try to switch your location status, nice try. Easy, simple, but actually very powerful. And of course, the nice try card says, play this to cancel any effect card played against you. And of course, that includes nice try cards. It doesn't need to be your turn to play a nice try card. So, if someone plays a nice try card against you, play one against them, and it's all part of the same action. The next defensive card we're going to talk about is the Reflection card, and this reflects any effect that would happen against you to any player of your choice. And the best way to explain this is with a bit of an example. Let's say you're playing the game, and one of your opponents plays a loot card against you. Let's say they try to loot your toilet paper. If you play a reflection card, it's as if you had played the loot card and not your opponent. Now you can choose any of your opponents, any of the other players, and select which one of them you're going to loot some toilet paper from. Let me give you another example. Let's say a player had used Trading Station against you, and was selecting one of your supplies to trade from any choice of their supplies. Instead of them being able to make the choice, when you play a reflection card, it's as if you had played the trading station card. Now you can choose which one of your supplies to trade for any of your opponents. Or if a player had played a location switch against you, reflect, now you can switch the location status of any of your opponents. It's about taking what's about to happen to you and selecting one of your opponents and making it happen to them. The final card to talk about is the Self-Isolation card. This prevents any effect cards from being played against you for an entire turn. So you play this, you put it down in front of you, and until it's your turn again, you are protected. This means no one can loot your supplies, no one can trade with you, no one can switch your location status when you don't want them to. So using this at the right time can really protect you if you have a strategy. The final thing to say about defense in this game is that there are plenty more ways that you might be attacked than you have to defend yourself. This means you need to choose carefully when to play your defensive cards. You might be prepared to lose a toilet paper card if it means later you can protect your infection prevention or your stockpile when it's nearly at a point where it could win you the game. Simply put, you need to choose which battles are worth fighting. You might decide to lose a battle, but ultimately, that might allow you to win the war.